we have a new banner hello everyone welcome back to episode 7 of four star only it is the 4.5 update day and i'm so excited for all the new content we can explore in this account as you can see we have a new banner called chronicled wish which is really cool if you're looking for a specific five star but as you know the whole point of this account is to not go for any five star stars. So why am I so excited for this banner then? Yes, you can get five stars. However, you can also get four star boosts too. Namely, Mondstadt four stars, including Fischl and Sucrose. Characters which I really, really want on this account. And also some really cool weapons too. This is really good for just getting certain characters. As I said in the previous episode, I was debating whether to use this banner because I wasn't sure if you could chronicle four stars like you could five stars, but obviously you can only chronicle five stars. So in my opinion, I think I'm okay to use this just because although it does limit the amount, limit the amount of four stars we can get in the pool, I think it's just basically like using the limited banner, which I don't particularly want. I already think I have all these characters, so this is not, these are not banners I want to pull on, nor is this. And the standard, I think it might just be better until I get sucrose. Get sucrose. Let me just read about it. So yeah, we have to choose a, I think it's just the same pity rate. Yeah, it's the same pity rate. I think you just chronicle what you want to get. Now, obviously, we can't use any of these weapons, but obviously, to use this chronicle, choose a character to select. <laughs> it doesn't really matter if we get a five star, though, as long as we just don't use them. So, hmm, which one should we go for? It doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know why I'm agonizing over this, because it does, does not matter at all if we get. But it's good that people can get certain weapons as well, especially this one. But that doesn't matter for me. Let's just get Jean. I mean, we don't need Jean, but we want the four stars, so we're just gonna go. I think you can, and you reset them, cancel path. You can cancel and then redo it. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. I want Sucrose immediately. I, I saved up a temple for this as well. I saved up the temple for this. I hope it's someone good. Oh no, it's gonna be Mika, isn't it? But come on. Give me sucrose. What? The alley flash. I know that is a good sword though. It's a good sword. Ugh. I think it's got the highest base attack. So will we ever get a Bennett? We can definitely use that on him. It's the highest base attack sword that we can get as a four star. Oh man, I just want to do temples now, I think. I think that now as we've advanced, I think doing temples is a bit better. Okay, so well, obviously we need some Prima gems. Well, I mean, there's some Prima gems for us. I still don't think that's enough for a full... Ooh, and we can get these too. Well, that was easy. But before you do that, I want to check out this training guide. Oh, well, be strong, but there's room for improvement. You don't say Genshin Impact. Basically, it just says you can recommend. I don't think I need this right now, but cool. I also got my first award of the Spiral Abyss series. Clear fourth floor of the Spiral Abyss. Amazing. That isn't really a big achievement, but in our case it kind of is, so. Our next reward is to not only clear chamber five, of the spiral abyss but also to freestar all of these floors before we get on to the harder floors for six to eight this is our goal but obviously we need to do a bit more grinding before we get to do floor five. Oh, and i should probably do my good old oh wait Goro is actually on banner. That means we can ascend Goro. I've been wanting to ascend Goro for a while. Obviously, I haven't had the materials, but now I can do his trial. I do. I personally try all the stages just because it gives you so many resources. You might as well just do them all. It's sad we don't have any new four stars coming anytime soon. That's okay. At least we can prioritize already thing four stars now. I still don't use the five star in the trial. I am a four star purist. Sorry, though, this is not about you anymore. This is about Ningguang. Another Ningguang trial. Why do I get you did that? Three Ningguang trials? Right, and everyone done. Before we do everything, we've still got enough for another temple. So let's hope and pray. 
Huh, an ember constellation. Uh, I mean, I'm not currently using ember right now. Just try and stay optimistic. Oh well, I guess we gotta grind all the same. So I should probably do the Liwa R conquest. I don't really need to worry about all of this. I'm not that desperate for Piwa gems yet. I'm trying not to do too many quests in this series. This is not going to be a story heavy series. It's because it takes so much time. So my plan long term with the Archon quest is to probably get up to Inazuma just to unlock Inazuma. I don't think we need to do the Sumeru or the Fontaine Archon quests. So I don't think I'm going to be doing those. Probably just this one and maybe some of the Inazuma one. Just so we can unlock Inazuma. Uh, story quest as well. It depends how much Prima Gems. Maybe this will change once I need more Prima Gems. Don't expect a lot of me doing story content. Also, do you like my new background? It's a hilly churro. Let's change this to Yao Yao. Yao Yao fits in with the hilly churro. Well, we need to start getting our characters up to 55. Oh, wait. <gasps> These have halves now. Ooh, that's interesting. Interesting. So now we need to actually build two teams. Ah, huh, this might be more difficult than I thought it would be. Because I only have four characters which are built right now. Which means we're going to have to build four more characters. And I need to figure out which characters I really want to build. Team one and team two. But these are the ones we got so far. And then we need another one. We've got Ningguang. We've got Guru. But we can ascend him right now. Because we can't go into Inazuma. We can get him up to 40. But we can't go any higher than that. But we do have Noel, so we could do like Ningguang, Noel, Gaia, and Zhang Ling. Or we could just do another Dendro team? We could definitely do another Dendro team. Maybe with Holly, Barbara, and Dory. That could also work as well. Like a Hyper Bloom team? Holly, Dory, um, do Barbara and Lisa. And then have. Is that Dory heals, right? So she heals. We could put Lynette in that team. Or we could put. Because I don't want to put Zhang Ling in that team because it messes up the Hyper Bloom reaction. This could be, this could be a good team because we have Kale, Dory, Lisa. And Lynette is sort of a swirl reaction with the Electro. And it features some quite underrated characters as well, which is which is good. I wanted to try out some more underrated characters. So for me, it's, it's a mixture of trying out new teams, but also trying out some new people as well. But also to keep in mind for a potential third team, Ningguang is our main. Guru, and then obviously Noel. I definitely want to do something with Geo, and potentially if we get Bennett, we have Bennett. That's also someone we can get, I think, from the wishing system so we could definitely i definitely want to do a geo team because i think having a geo team can be very useful as well so don't worry i'm not neglecting these guys so we've got a lot of leveling up to do which is going to be very very fun we have a few shrine depths keys we have an binoculars to find we have treasure tests to uh, unlock ascension materials to find i probably need to calculate how much i need to get all of these characters up to level 55 probably quite a bit more than i actually have so do you know how do you know when you really don't want to do something so you'll just procrastinate so you don't have to do it well that's me with this lua archon quest i think i actually want to get my stamina up because this show stamina is annoying me we're on level eight and we have seven so we only have a few more to get before we finish all the amonoculas so i was thinking maybe just getting up to level nine level ten i know we still got all the the Liwa ones to go so we can fully do our stamina however you know what at least at least doing one of them is gonna work okay this stamina is too much oh that one requires animo oh, that's fine because we got animo should probably change back to lynette lynette's actually useful in monstat well lynette's useful everywhere but lynette is useful in monstat for for having wind there we go now we just need four more you know i like to 
ask a question every single time I do an episode. I wonder what today's question is going to be. I've already 100% of this before, but obviously I don't know where everything is. Probably start looking at my map as well, just to get the, to get the map out. Unfortunately, this is before the, uh... Clotar meme existed. Well, it's only 65 of them. But Geoculus is gonna be a bit much. I don't know if I'm gonna do all the Octroculus, all the Dendroculus, all the Hydroculus. I don't know. Depends how desperate I am. We also need to unlock all the shrines as well. The question of the the episode is something something easy. Who is your favorite four star and why? Why do you like them? Are they sentimental to you because they were your first character, or are they just really fun to use? Hmm, who would I say my favorite four star? character. That is a tricky one because it depends on what angle you're going for for me. My favorite character to play as a four star is most likely Gong Ming to be honest. He is very fun. He's got lion dancing. I love how his outfit changes. I've had so much fun with him over the past couple of months just playing on this account. I've really, really enjoyed it. So that's who I would say probably my favorite in terms of combat. My favorite personality-wise is probably Kabe. He's so sassy and I've also have a 90 on my main account as well, even though he isn't like very meta. So the only ones I have 90 are like Zinjo, Bennett, Jailing, but I actually really like Kabe. He's actually very fun to play as well on the Bloom team if you have... Mainly if you have Nilu. I've never really tried him about Nilu. He's good with Nilu. He's a, he's a big tank. But he definitely needs some... He definitely needs some special investment. But I would be very, very happy if we got a copy of Kabe on this account. Would I 90 him? Probably. <laughs> he, he deserves to be 90 So he is 90 So he is very fun. I even pre farm him as well. And I almost didn't get him, but I, I, I only have him at like B1 or something. So I'm definitely not uh he was he was worth fighting that dendro hypostasis for ages and running out of resin for again several weeks in my account. But just some carriages like that you would just go for. I guess the good thing about having four star only is that you don't really have to save pity for characters. Although it's more like, I guess, I guess we could save up and later on when we have the majority of four stars. When we have the majority of four stars, we'll probably save up and then get constellations. I'm also keeping my star, star glitter as well. Because obviously constellations aren't right high up on me right now, but Getting constellations is a good thing for characters, especially in terms of Spiral Abyss beating Floor 12. And that's level 8 reached! More stamina for me, please. Now it's just the final stretch. Only 15 left. Well, I guess let's get Cracking. Ooh, a luxurious chest. I didn't realize there were two of them here. These last two are proving tricky to find. I know where one is, but I don't want to get that one because it's it's a ticket ice bridge because I don't have enough stamina. Just easier to do to stay on the land. Well, speak of the Aminoculus. All right, we only need one more. Oh, where could it be? I found our last one. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just over there. We did it! We have collected enough Oculus to level up the statue to exactly level 10. And there we go, your efforts have been acknowledged. Now, I do understand there is one I didn't get, I know it was an extra, I'm an Oculus. 
but I really am too lazy right now to go to that island because that's where the last one is. So I will be doing that right now. I'm just happy I've got more stamina. Obviously not max stamina considering we haven't got many of the Geoculus. Let's just have a look at what we're on right now. That is going to be a whole other bull game for us and a lot more difficult. Yeah, so we're only on level four right now. So we still got a lot of work to do when it comes to the Oculus. Oculus and getting the map done and everything. So that is going to be a whole other thing to do, I think. I don't think I'm going to do it this episode. We have a new event, which I will do next episode. We can get a teapot now, apparently. And we haven't got that many Prima Gems. <laughs> But we can get two Equate Fates. So I'll probably see if we're near pity on this one. No. But we'll just do, we'll just wish anyway. See if we get a lucky, a lucky four star. No, we didn't get a lucky four star. Well, that's okay. What pity are we on? Again, not really much. Hmm. If I do my dailies, for tops, I'll get two more dailies up. We can see if we can do another pull of some sort. We also have adventure rank. It's nice to have a little bit more stamina. I think I might be taking a break to look at the full one. I'm getting sick of this food delivery commission. It keeps haunting me on this account. The first time I did this commission, I didn't know you could teleport. So I literally ran here from Mondstadt. Funniest sign in Genshin Impact. I can't believe we're almost adventure rank 30. Oh, we get Prima Gems for this one. 75. Do we get them any other time soon? No, but we do get to increase our world level. Amazing. And then we can get our daily commission reward. Another 20. Then we can get our expeditions. Let's see how much we have now. 1,039. Hmm, so six. That's not good. Um, that's not gonna get me enough to get a guaranteed four star. Uh, such a shame, such a shame. Sorry it's been such a short episode. I've been really busy recently, so I haven't had a lot of time to record. But I don't really know what the next episode is going to bring because I'm going to have to do a lot of farming. So much so, it could even take me two weeks to actually record the video. Needs to actually record the video. But it's going to be a very big operation of farming. So this is definitely the calm before the storm. So I'll see you in the next episode.